Hi guys, my name is Piper M. I'm a fourth grader at Weaver Lake Elementary, a STEM school. Our class wanted to know how macro invertebrates adapt to their water conditions in order to survive. We had a challenge to engineer a macro with three special adaptations that help it to live in their environment. We followed the engineering design process to create our own special macros. An aquatic macro invertebrate is an insect without a spine and is underwater. They help us learn if our lake is Yes, go macros. Just so you know, my macro's name is Jasmine. My macro's first adaptation is a large jaw. It has a large jaw because it is an engulfer. This large jaw makes it easier to eat other macros, yikes, or leaf packs. It eats them by swallowing them whole. Weird, right? Well, that's my macro's first adaptation, a large jaw. My macro's second adaptation is long legs. It has long legs because it's also a skater. Skaters use their long legs to skate across the water. I wonder if they use ice skates in winter. Anyway, that was my macro's second adaptation. Yes! My macro's third and final adaptation is gills. Its gills help it breathe in high dissolved oxygen. And no, it's not bad for the lake. If a macro has gills, like my macro, it shows that the macro you're looking at is sensitive. If a macro is sensitive, but still actually living in a lake, it means that the lake is healthy. Macros are so awesome. So this is how my macro breathes. Hey, that's me.